Hey all, Hiva here. So uh, today we're looking at the top 10 free to play tips and tricks in Sea of Conquest. So uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment. So I made this video because I get a lot of questions from players who are a little bit uh, like afraid of starting the game because they're scared of, uh, you know, players who spend a lot of money in the game or whales and they're like worried they're going to get sunk by whales all the time. But honestly, it's not a problem. Unless you want to be the best PvP player in Sea of Conquest, then there's really no need to spend any money or to worry at all. And I'll tell you how in this video. So uh, I've played this game for two months now and I haven't had any troubles with, uh, you know, whales or PvP players at all, really. There's really so much to do in this game, so if you want to avoid, you know, aggressive players you can completely do that and you can just go around doing stuff that you think is fun so uh, the first thing uh, i think you should be doing is obviously to uh, log in every day something always happens day to day in this game and if you just log in for five minutes and just you know click those little red spots at your start screen and uh, you know pick up uh, your mail and do all the little tiny you know admin stuff here that really only takes a few minutes to do you're already on a very good trajectory to uh, to do well and as you can see this doesn't uh, require any involvement with other players at all like you just uh, you just do what you're supposed to do really and uh, do check the weekly deals section there's uh, every day there's a uh, little goodie in there and also the value pricks usually have something in there for free every day so uh, trading and smuggling is, in my opinion, what you should be focusing on if you are going to play this game as, uh, you know, a uh, non-PVP player. And like I said, PVP is actually a really tiny bit of this game. There's so much other stuff to do. So uh, I really haven't personally played PVP at all, really. And I'm having a great time in the game and I've spent, you know, hours and hours and hours on it. And uh, so can you. If you want to, you can treat this game as a trading game only, really, uh, because the trading and smuggling aspect is so deep and full of opportunities. For example, uh, just, you know, going from port to port, selling stuff for the best price possible. It takes a lot of involvement and it takes a lot of thinking and a lot of exploration. And uh, you can keep doing that for pretty much ever and ever and ever, making good money. And you don't really have to uh, worry about other players at all. Um, it's, a, it's a very deep inclusion in the game and like I said, it's almost a game in itself. And uh, if you get really good at trading and you get good standing with the guilds, uh, that is a game, <laughs> you know, in its own inside Sea of Conquest that you can do at your own leisure and, you know, at the time that you want to do it and you can even uh, set up auto trading while you're away. Smuggling is uh, kind of the same as trading, except you make a lot more money, but uh, you know, the smuggling goods are limited, so you can't just keep doing it over and over and over. But uh, like I said, both trading and smuggling, it's something that anyone can do straight off the bat, and uh, you'll get better at it, and uh, you will grow your ship, you will grow your trading routes, and uh, you know, you will just expand your little empire there. And you know, that's fun in itself, it really is. And uh, I know some people, I like see a lot of people in this game here, who only play it for the trading aspect. So uh, definitely you can do that and uh, you don't have to worry about whales or PvP players at all. So uh, next up is killing and looting sea monsters. Again, uh, this is fairly simple. Uh, you just find a sea monster and uh, you know you put it out of its misery and you will be rewarded with uh, items for your ships first and foremost, but also you know other loot. And again, this is just something you can do whenever you want to do it and uh, find, you know, a remote area of the map where no one else is around and uh, just go about your business, uh, getting rid of those uh, five monsters a day. I mean, uh, this is fairly, you know, therapeutic and, uh, <laughs> and quiet uh, and uh, it's actually uh, actually a lot of fun, especially getting the, the loot. Sometimes you'll get those delicious legendaries doing this. Once you get some good stuff out of the monsters, you can start to, of course, uh, upgrade it. But that's a whole other chapter in itself, but it also uh, is something you can do whenever you want and it really doesn't involve any sort of, uh, you know, uh, fights or action or anything like that. 
So uh, next up, I'd say uh, you should join a gang, and it doesn't matter how you play this game, you really should be joining a gang at the first opportunity you get. Now, uh, obviously, uh, if you want to, you can join some of the most powerful gangs uh, on your server, uh, but they usually expect you to actually, you know, contribute a little bit. <laughs> but uh, if you look at the different gangs in the game, you're sure to find a gang that's just for, you know, casual PvP players, if that's what you want, or for, uh, you know, people who uh, re are really only interested in trading or smuggling and there's, there's usually something for everyone really and uh, it doesn't have to be the most powerful gang in the game if you want to progress quickly yes then it makes more sense because uh, you'll be able to get more gang gifts if there's a lot of active players in your gang but you know if you're just playing this game as you know a waste of time really <laughs> uh, then uh, I wouldn't worry about it at all uh, it's really not uh, that important as long as you join a gang and there's like a few active people in your gang you're gonna have a good time and uh, it's not really uh, an issue if you're not you know number one on the server or anything like that i really wouldn't worry about it all right so plundering freighters is another good thing to use your time on because uh if you click the magnifying glass you can choose which level freighter you want to search for and then you just find them and you sink them it's really that simple and uh, you can do this from pretty much any level because uh, as you can see if you know you just want a, an easy target you can just pick a really low level freighter and they will show up no matter what and uh, just sink it and uh, you will get experience and some stuff there of course you will get more goodies the higher the level and uh, you know as long as you don't put the level too high like put it like a few levels below the maximum on the slider uh, you should be able to uh, get rid of those uh, armed freighters fairly easily and uh, get good loot in the uh, process and uh, again I mean if you find a secluded part of the map or really any part of the map it doesn't really matter <laughs> then uh, you'll just be able to do this at your own leisure and no one's gonna interrupt because you can see this there's, there's a lot of people playing this game here but they are all busy um, there's a lot to do and everyone wants to raise their power level and really like a whale spending time uh, chasing a low level player is not the best you know use of their time really it's just uh, it's they, they could do other stuff that would increase their power level more so uh, that's you know kind of a shield for for players who are low level or not really interested in PvP so uh, I keep saying this one here and it is do your missed incidents and uh, missed incidents are just the little islands scattered around the map and all you got to do is click them and a uh, Sometimes you can even just, uh, you know, use your compass and uh, do all the missed incidents in one. But, uh, you know, if you just play this game here for fun, I would suggest you sail around and you do your missed incidents manually um, because it's just more fun. Uh, these incidents here are important and uh, some of them just require you to click them and you'll get some good loot. And uh, others actually require you to play a little mini game, for example, like salvaging barrels. And, uh, you know, it's a fun thing to do and uh, something that's a little bit different than just sailing around in your pirate ship, right? And uh, the rewards are actually really good for the minimum amount of time you actually have to uh, put into these uh, little activities here. So uh, completing missed incidents will also help you complete your sea voyage here, uh, which is in the event section. This is full of goodies and it's really one of the most important things that you have to focus on as a free-to-play player. Because look here, you get emeralds and you get conks and you get uh, gold and you also get the, the ability to skip uh, you know, uh, construction time. It's really important. So uh, there's other things that gives you uh, points in the sea voyage but a uh, missed incident is a really easy way of progressing this one so i would definitely uh you know recommend that anyone really uh, does this all the time really so uh, an added bonus with doing missed incidents is that you will be granted uh, currency uh, world emblems here that's for uh, uh, season one but uh, anyway you can spend those in the cartographer's corner in the shop uh, where you'll be able to buy stuff actually very very good stuff so a uh, missed incident is one of the most important things uh, you should be doing it doesn't matter if you're free to play player or you're pay paying player it doesn't matter uh, you should definitely do them so uh, hunting for treasure obviously this is a pirate game and there's gotta be treasure in it and of course there is and uh, this is one of the most lucrative things you can do as a free-to-play player 
um, because you can be you know old school and go look up the treasure yourself and only spend probably one uh, compass doing that uh, you can also be lazy and uh, just you know pick the treasure map and say yeah click the instant button and confirm that you want to use three uh, compasses getting it and the treasure will just pop up right outside your port so you can just pick up the treasure directly and uh, just you know <laughs> click the trading venue as well and sell the treasure just in one go you don't you don't have to move your ship at all of course this you know takes a way a little bit of the enjoyment of the game but it is faster if you just have a little time to do this uh, but don't forget to uh, check those treasure maps right there's a lot of money hitting there and uh, it's important especially for uh, free to play players all right so the next tip i want to mention to you is uh, afk rewards and uh, heroes are important definitely but if you're free to play player i wouldn't really worry too much about uh, heroes and getting all the legendary ones and you know getting them up to the super levels because if you're not going to do pvp then you know the heroes are really more of an optional uh, thing if you ask me uh, don't forget that you get a free hero pool every day as well so don't forget doing that that's of course important if you are uh, you know not spending money on the game um, and uh, just look at the percentages here like it's it's hard to get legendary heroes so uh, just go with the flow here and uh, you get the heroes you get and uh, that's what you get really <laughs> so uh, let's get back to afk rewards they're in the trial section and it's the glowing uh, you know green emerald thing on the right you click that and you can claim free experience for your heroes and it's actually quite a bit especially as you get uh, you know higher levels so uh the green stuff here, Sea Soul Stones, you pick those up and uh, if you go back into your hero section, you can immediately use that XP to level your heroes. So uh, don't forget to pick that up, it's really important and uh, there's actually quite a lot of XP there for you to use. Alright, the next thing you can do without any intervention from other players is cooking. And uh, I know this is a pirate game and uh, what's this thing with cooking and pirates, but it's fun. And uh, it's something else to do in the game that uh, you can you know, use to break the monotony a little bit. So all you gotta do is to serve up uh, you know, dishes for the pirates, like their favorites, like you have to make them tacos and <laughs> stuff like that. And uh, then you sell them to the pirates. And uh, if you complete all of the uh, dishes on uh, like requested, you will be handsomely rewarded. Like, like look at this. Uh, you know, 16 hours of uh, diminished construction time plus emeralds plus heroes experience and uh, there's so many things here like this is really really worth it so uh, as a free to play player you should definitely get into the cooking scene here and uh, getting your recipes down and uh, of course you can use it for you know supplies on your ship as well so uh, I have a whole video on the joys of cooking in this game here, but uh, all you gotta do is go to the galley in your ship and uh, just, you know, put random ingredients into the pot and see what you get. And uh, don't forget to also pick up the, the little uh, like hidden bonuses in here. You see the little moving chest. Uh, most people miss that, but that's actually uh, um, something that you can actually pick up, like 20 emeralds right there. So uh, don't forget to do that. So. Really, these are the um, the uh, recipes that I've got in here that I've found, and that's quite a bit. But like I said, all you gotta do to find recipes is either you know you know you can cheat and Google them easily enough, or you can just put random stuff into the uh, you know pot, click the produce button, and uh, see what comes out of that. And uh, that's how I did it, and uh, it's quite fun and it's free. All right, so uh, say you're getting annoyed by, uh, you know, some whale sitting outside your port just waiting for you and sinking you all the time. If uh, you want to, you can just click the little clock down here and uh, you can actually pay for protection, right? So you can pay 100 emeralds and uh, you can stay inside that port for eight hours and, uh, you know, never come out again. <laughs> so uh, whoever's sitting outside on the other side will uh, have to wait for a very long time. And uh, I can promise you, no whale or you know uh, 
uh, low level player killer is going to sit there for eight hours and wait for you to come out again. They're going to go do something else and spend their time and something better. And in the meantime, you can do some of the other activities here that I showed you in this video while you're, you know, waiting in your port. And now uh, an alternative, if you don't want to spend emeralds, uh, is just to find, um, you know, a clan or an, a gang member far away from where you are and uh, just click their ship, click the teleport symbol, say confirm, and uh, you will teleport away from whatever it is that you don't like. But again, I would just like to underline here that bullying or PvP uh, harassing really isn't a problem in this game. I haven't experienced it once in uh, the time I've played. And uh, if everything fails, I say just go fishing. <laughs> if you go to your flagship on the deck, you can click the fishing icon and uh, you can take you know a few minutes or a few hours, whatever you want, just to go fishing. And uh, you can find spots on the map that have, uh, you know, schools of fish. And uh, if you fish there, you can find some of the more, uh, you know, rare fish. Now, remember, there are full games on, uh, you know, phones that are all about fishing like this. And uh, this game is included in <laughs> Sea of Conquest. So uh, it's something to do, you know, if, uh, you know, everything else fails. So uh, that was my 10 tips and tricks. Do leave a comment if you think you have something else because uh, I can do more videos on this. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped a little bit. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you out there.